So I'm joined by uh, Chelsea City manager Robbie Simpson. Um, it's been a busy week uh, at Chelsea City, even though we've not had a game really. Um, starting off with uh, Charlie Sheringham going back to Dartford. Yeah, yeah, um, yes, yeah, so it, it, it's a tough one, really. We were we were really hopeful Charlie would would remain with us, and we were we were really hopeful probably until he got named in the team <laughs> for Dartford. So. And Charlie and Charlie and Dartford have a conversation. I think when he arrived at the stadium for the game, he's he was contracted to Dartford, so he turned up. And I think they they'd been struggling to score as many goals as they would have liked. And and they told Charlie, look, you've been scoring and you're in form, so so you you're going to be playing and you're going to be with us. And and then he goes and scores a hat trick. So they're probably really pleased, and we're really disappointed. But. Um, that, that's how tight it can get in football. Sometimes you you can be so close to signing someone or re-signing someone, and then at the last minute things can things can unravel. So um, yeah, I mean he's a great professional, and he showed that by by not only um, playing for them and playing so well, but then scoring. You could you see what a good um, good attitude he's got, and a professional attitude, and and fair play to him and. We wish him well. We thank him for for the time he was with us. He was really great for us, and um, we'll miss him. And um, we we wish hi, we wish him all the best um, for sure. And um, I guess well, you, you'll probably lead on to are we gonna are we gonna look to replace him? Aren't you? <laughs> It'll probably be your next question. Um, and we we hope so. We hope we're really close to bringing someone else in. Um, I think you can see the difference that an experienced um, head or focal point at the top of the pitch has made for us and to the balance of our forward line. So we're, we're really hopeful to be, um, to be close to bringing someone in before, before Billericay. OK, we'll move on to the Billericay game, um, which is Tuesday night. We've got lots of ex-Clarets in the Billericay team. Jai Reason, um, they've got a couple of your uh, former teammates, Michael Chambers and Billy Knott. And they've just put uh, appointed ex city captain Mark Hughes as assistant. So, plenty of familiar faces in their team, which will really spice yeah. up the Essex derby. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they've um, obviously a, a new manager, and um, he's he's definitely um, implemented a system and a and he's brought in a few new players uh, within the last week as well. Since that Dartford game, he's brought in a few new players and. And they've had an excellent result at the weekend. Really, really excellent result. Um, I've just finished watching that game in full, actually. So, um, good. They, they looked solid. They looked a threat. And um, good players. I think they've they've had good players all season. Um, but for whatever reason, things just haven't clicked for them. And it's an exit derby. And it's going to be um, it's going to be a tough one. Yeah, both games against them last season were one one as well. So it's been quite tight games of late. And we're playing them there. It's their first game against them on their new 3G surface. We've had a draw at Eastbourne and a loss at Haven't on 3G so far. Do you think that will help us with the with the with the artificial surface? I think, given the weather over the weekend, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just glad the game's definitely going to be on. Um, so yeah, I, I hope so. Obviously, we've we've tried to play really good football this season, and um, we certainly did do down at Eastbourne. I thought we were the better team, and. And as mentioned, down at Haven, I thought we played some great stuff down there. And um, on another day, it could have been a different result. Um, yeah, we we hope to to be able to implement our really good footballing, move the ball quickly on a good surface. I understand it's very similar to Haven's um, surface, which was which was excellent, um, probably the best 4G I've seen uh, with my own eyes down at Haven. So if it's very similar to that, then then it will be. Um, a good a good pitch to be able to play some football on. Yeah, it was uh, especially their pitch last year <clears throat> when we played them in January. It was it was a bit muddy in the corners, wasn't it? So yeah. it was <laughs> around the time a car got on and did some did some donuts on the pitch, wasn't it last yeah. year? <laughs> and uh, also, we talked about a bit of a stop start season, but we've got I've looked at the fixture list. We've got eleven games, including tomorrow between now and the end of February. So they're really going to start coming thick and fast now. Yeah, two games a week until, like you say, near, near enough the end of Seb. So yeah, they're going to come thick and fast, and um, 
it could be good if we build some momentum and hopefully we've built some momentum the last two games, two wins. Um, and, and hopefully we can carry on that momentum into this, uh, this busy period. Um, and obviously the lads have got to be fit and keep themselves fit, not only during training, but away from training. And I know they've all got jobs, so it's, it's tough, but even in their sort of downtime, I know there's not a lot to do anyway, because we're in lockdown, but hopefully they can, um, give themselves the best chance to recover in between games and, and be ready game after game. Um, cause we've got a, we've got a relatively small squad now and, um, no doubt everybody will need to be called upon. Okay, Robbie. Um, thanks for the quick chat, catch up and, uh, good luck tomorrow night. Yep. Thanks, Ben. Cheers.